Howdy y'all. This is Proverbs 31 in the Holman Christian Standard Bible for July 31st, 2023. The words of King Lemuel, an oracle that his mother taught him. What should I say, my son? What, son of my womb? What, son of my vows? Don't spend your energy on women or efforts on those who destroy kings. It's not for kings, Lemuel, not for kings to drink wine or for rulers to desire beer. Otherwise, they will drink and forget what is decreed and pervert justice for all the oppressed. Give beer to one who's dying and wine to one whose life is bitter. Let him drink so he can forget his poverty and remember his trouble no more. Speak up for those who have no voice, for the justice of all who are dispossessed. Speak up, judge righteously, and defend the cause of the oppressed and the needy. Who can find a capable wife? She's far more precious than jewels. The heart of her husband, trust in her, and she will not, and he will not lack anything good. She rewards him with good, not evil, all the days of her life. She selects wool and flax and works with willing hands. She's like the merchant ships, bringing her food from far away. She rises while it's still night and provides food for her household and portions for her female servants. She evaluates a field and buys it. She plants a vineyard with her earnings. She draws on her strength and reveals that her arms are strong. She sees that her profits are good. Her lamp never goes out at night. She extends her hand to the spinning staff and her hands hold the spindle. Her hands reach out to the poor. She extends her hands to the needy. She's not afraid for her household when it snows, for all in her household are doubly clothed. She makes her own bed coverings. Her clothing is fine linen and purple. Her husband is known at the city gates where he sits among the elders of the land. She makes and sells linen garments. She delivers belts to the merchants. Strength and honor are her clothing. She can laugh at the time to come. She opens her mouth with wisdom and loving instruction is on her tongue. She watches over the activities of her household and is never idle. Her sons rise up and call her blessed. Her husband also praises her. Many women are capable, but you surpass them all. Charm is deceptive, beauty is fleeting, but a woman who fears the Lord will be praised. Give her the reward of her labor and let her works praise her at the city gates. From a mom to a boy, right? So... A, a useful dispensation of knowledge on what you should and shouldn't be looking for and who you should be associating with when looking for them. It's like there's a there's kind of a crude saying, like you want to see what the girl will look like in the 15 years, look at the mom. Well, I mean, the same is true in acting, right? Unless that person, um, you know, my let's just say my wife is making an active choice to act differently herself and to run her household differently than she had modeled for her in the household she grew up in. Fair enough. Otherwise, you know, you should be telling your boys and your girls, look, look at the parents, look at the family situation. Is it a functioning, loving family? Is mom more concerned with Instagram than TikTok, right? Than she is with the kids? or the house just because she deals with the house is she tending to the husband is there some kind of business that she's doing or making stuff for the household or is she just taking her time to be idle and then I think it's interesting that this um we're going to just jump back up top. This translation says beer and wine. But another one, other translations say strong drink. Which you would think is like liquor, right? Spirits. Which makes more sense in the context, I think. If you're dying, you know what I mean? Beer is great and all, but um, yeah. Ha have this whiskey. No, go ahead. What's it going to do? Kill you? Have a margarita. But I do think this is totally appropriate in this context of drinking wine or desiring beer. Otherwise, they'll drink and forget what's decreed. You know, 
wine, at least for me, my associations is like happy, smiley, silly, drunk often, right? Until it goes south and people get angry. Beer, similarly, is happy, crying, I love you, man, until it goes south. That is not how we want our rulers and leaders operating, right? I just leave it at that. I'm not going to pick on anybody. I'm just going to leave it at that. It's not a good book. More importantly, the last two in that section, eight and nine, telling, telling, this is her telling her son, speak up for those who have no voice. For the justice of all who are dispossessed, speak up, judge righteously, defend the cause of the oppressed and needy. I like that. Call him another fortune cookie thing, how to faith a life can fight me on. Speak up, judge righteously, defend the cause of the oppressed and the needy. That's some solid advice for, for how to conduct yourself as a man. I think Jordan Peterson would, would get behind that. Maybe we'll have to tag him and ask him in a, in a short, right? And man, for all of the chapters, talking about like a nagging wife, it's like a dripping rain, you know? A bad wife is like like cancer in your, in your bones. Like, ugh, it just drives you crazy. What are you going to do about it, right? It's interesting that if you read the book, at the end of it, it's telling you, and this is what you look for. Because the other chapters largely have been, this is what a woman that you should avoid looks like right and it's always like stranger and foreigner but part of that is because jewish cultural context and adhering to the jewish laws that makes sense right but then the other parts of it brash you know never at home a loud mouth just all all these different things this is like what a bad look is this is what you want to avoid but in this case we have a really clear picture of what a what a good woman is when she runs her household I'll take it. That's why I got into this. You know what I mean? I'm seeking advice here. Seeking advice and wisdom from the wisest man that ever lived by tradition because he had the foresight to ask God for wisdom. Pretty sure I said that when I started this all off in like a, a notes thing. So, what month are we in? I was going to say six months. I can't believe I've been doing this six months. This is seven months. This is July. Last day of July. Tomorrow is August 1st. Man. The year is just blowing by. My uh, eight now eight year old. He said this a couple of months ago when he was seven. Was like, oh, I can really tell that the time. Per my perception of time is just really picking up. Everything seems faster. I'm like, oh, just wait till you're about to turn forty, homeboy. And then my dad's like, yeah, just wait. You know, I know, I know. What are you gonna do? <sighs> Had a rough day. I don't know what was wrong with me yesterday. On top of all the leg back shenanigans, which I'm acutely worried about at this point. Because if it ain't muscle, and it ain't nerve, and it ain't a clot, I don't even I don't even want to say what I think it is. But point is I need to schedule some appointments, get um, blood work, and get a workup. They scanned my leg two or three years ago, right? When they um when they operated on it, but not to say something's not happening right now. Um, so please pray for me if you watch that. And so I'm, it, just day in, day out, like, oh, you know, I finally found the words for it yesterday. I've, I've been trying to describe it to people and I found the words while I was trying to go through my experience again with my wife. It's like when I open my eyes in the morning, you know, it's just like I got to get up in the middle of the night to pee. Leg, leg leg, leg, you know, eating lunch, leg, 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 trying to lay in bed, leg, 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 it's, it's an alarm, I keep getting, I, that's all I hear all day is an alarm, it's drowning out my thoughts, it's making it hard to be patient, it's making it hard to work, it's making it hard to do anything, frankly, and then yesterday, I had a fantastic dinner, but just crashed downhill, I'm, I had a fever out of nowhere, and for those that know me, I've always been kind of classic night owl and insomniac. Yesterday, like, I, I just tapped out. I went and showered, and I was just gone. Uh, that was it. No work. No nothing. I had already recorded the thing earlier, in the, or this earlier in the day. 
it was not good. And then sweated it out all night because, like, <laughs> not much of a PJ person. Last night I did come down to sit with everybody after my shower briefly. Fully, you know, PJ pants. I had a hoodie on. It is not cold right now. But, um, broke that fever, I suppose. I think it's a sinus thing. Came back to the Miami Valley where all the pollen from the whole nation settles. So whatever I'm allergic to, there's a panoply. There is a great assortment of things that can disagree with me. So, hopefully I've come over that, took a bunch of tinctures this morning, and, uh, you know, doing the hippie wellness thing. Ooh. Um, sorry. I was like solid two minutes of complaints. Just trying to give account, not complain. Um, working. I'm about to go and report for work in the first time here in several weeks. I'm amazed people in my group are offended at the rates that Amazon offers and some of the other money they're making but it's like what are you going to do what are you going to do you're going to tell DoorDash like I'm not going to work if I'm not going to make $30 an hour do we all want to make that yeah man are we gonna not all the time my homeboy made like $20 in 3 hours the other night that's that's not even tenable that's not workable just makes me mad I want to work I want the opportunity to be making money because I see the finish line all I've been doing is dumping money on student loans got us out of all of our credit card debt all of our other consumer loans all the hospital bills from the kids and everything else so it's like eyes on the prize I just want to finish paying it off and then just be able to stack a little bit of money to make the next plan and not have to be a slave to the lender right But money, by far, not the most important thing. There have been plenty of L's I've taken on opportunities to work because recently we've had a lot of stuff to do with the kids. Only going to have time to do stuff with the kids for a small window. Work till I die. You know what I mean? Whatever. So, um, oh, I want to make a post. So tomorrow, we managed to get tickets. We're going to go see the new Teenage Mutant, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle show before it comes out but <coughs> I don't know how she looked we've been listening to a lot of like rare breed so if you don't know him check him out he is going to be doing a show here in a couple of weeks and it's a free show so I guess it's sponsored by a church or something so I'm going to take the whole fam to go see rare breed do a little rapping and um, hopefully meet some other cool Christians you know what I mean so if you happen to see this Let's hook up. It's in northern, eh, mid-northern Ohio. Eh, a little dry for me, but no big deal. Maybe I'll make a post on that for the community to see. And, um, man, I just, I really like that. Speak up, judge righteously, and defend the cause of the oppressed and the needy. <laughs> I feel like if a lot of dudes were doing that right now, we'd be doing well as a nation. I'd be curious what would be the, the modern day equivalent of this, right? Wool and flax, working with willing hands, should making yarn, should making cloth and fabric, should making things out of them, dying. I mean, truth be told, that's all the rage again, right? Cottage core and just like back to the land style homesteading. I'm a nerd for that. And on top of that, like I love being able to get colors and things from plants you know dyeing but I don't make fabric so as cheap as I am right now I'm not just going to go out and buy silk pieces and um oh man oh man I need to go off on another tangent somebody supposedly researched the frequencies of different fabric like the resonant frequencies silk why wow, that set me off was one of the ones that's like negative for your body so his, his work was an exploration of linen and wool. Why, in the, in the Old Testament, why are you not supposed to mix the two as part of that law? Well, those were extremely high for his metric of if it was good or bad for humans to have that on their body. But um, they didn't put it this way in the small stip, snippet that I heard. But it was like, if they're both 100, for instance, then they cancel each other out and they're zero. So they have zero effect if they're put together. 
But to me, that's just like poles, right? Phase shift, just like with electricity. You know, we can have 90 degrees and, um, what, negative night? No, I'm messing that up. The point is, like, you can have two, and then it cancels each other out. More on that later. Apparently, it is published research. I will go find it. That's the kind of stuff I like to read and write. So, I'll check it out. Maybe I'll do a little video on that if I feel like I have enough knowledge to talk on it. She draws on her strength, but she reveals that her arms are strong. Her profits are good, and her lamp never goes out at night. I think it's just like we, as dudes, are instructed to be diligent. This is what it looks like to be diligent. Because not everybody's going to make stuff as far as, like, clothing. Some people are going to make other things. Some people are going to cook. Some people are going to garden. Some people are going to process stuff. Right? Gather things. But the point is, like, a constant diligence and a constant striving to do better for one's family and to do better for oneself. I like that. It says, she's not worried about it. If it snows, she's doubly clothed. They've got clothes on clothes. They have nice clothes. They have purple dyed clothes. You know, something very expensive. Which that's the nature of being the producer of something. You can take the really expensive items and keep them for yourself. And you don't pay for them in the same way as you would as if you paid somebody for them. Because you're the producer. So it would be really easy to have fine clothes if you're the ones producing them. And to some degree... I know a wife that is just like that. She's a seamstress, very diligent, and all of her kids have custom clothing. So, maybe that's what we're supposed to get out of this, is, is the metric of, of wisdom in within a woman or a wife and diligence, right? She watches over the activities of her household and is never idle. That means kids aren't raising themselves on a screen or just being ignored, right? She's watching over. Everybody's doing stuff. She's always out. Never idle. And that should be the ultimate goal, right? Her sons rise up, grow up, call her blessed. Her husband also praises her. Many women are capable, but you surpass them all. Who does not want to hear that? Man or woman. So number one, if your wife is doing a good job, tell her. Make it a point to tell her. And I heard some good advice too. It's like, hey, I really appreciate this thing. Or, hey, that thing that you did there, it was awesome. It really meant a lot to me. Tone. Tone matters. Don't be a Toby. Don't be a Daria. Throw a little, little emotion in there so they'll remember it. I think that's good advice. It's a famous speaker that I keep seeing come up about uh, public speaking and stuff. And now, of course, I'm going to blank on his name. But I was laughing at myself initially. Charm is deceptive and beauty is fleeting, but a woman who fears the Lord will be praised. There's an old song. And I forget the title. But it's like, if you want to be happy for the rest of your life, never make a pretty girl your wife. From my personal point of view, get an ugly girl to marry you. And I'm not about the ugly girls and, uh, you know, go get an ugly girl. But the whole thing was about basically, like, pretty girls come with their own problems. Especially women who, or ladies that focus on making themselves pretty. You know, tons of makeup. Oh my gosh, all the contouring videos and all that. That's cool and all, but, like, well, let me see what you really look like. And, um, let's keep it real. You know what I mean? But the whole thing is beauty fades. And charm's deceptive, right? You know, you can be good at flirting. After a while, the flirting fades. You can be beautiful. Everybody ages. But if you fear the Lord, you're going to age like fine wine. All right. Thanks for hanging out with me for 20 minutes. Half of which was probably just me giving account of what's going on with me lately. I have no idea. I have no idea what the next translation is going to be that we're going to read. In fact, let's have a look from the Holman. I've just been kind of going down at this point and seeing like what I'm interested in. I listened to several studies on good, bad, and ugly translations. I was really excited about Holman. And it was totally proven to be a good one. 
I'm not sure what we're going to do next. I'm looking at all the translations right now on the screen that are available to me. And, um, I don't know. I'm going to take the night to pray on it and see, see what I got. If you're watching this and you have any suggestions, feel free to let me know for sure. Too many. Too many choices. The new Oxford isn't even in here. I've got that one on my shelf. Hmm. What is the Tree of Life version? I have questions. We're going to do a little more research for this evening and then I'll be back tomorrow. I need to catch up. I realize it's been like seven days since I posted a daily. I filmed them all. I've just been so fatigued and dead on my feet, mostly without a good reason. Um, because if I'm not driving all night, why, why, why am I tired? Why am I so tired? Why can't I get it together? But um, I need to post them. I've recorded them. Sometimes I look like I'm going to fall over dead, but I got them recorded. So look forward to that. And um, I seem to just be great at filming garden content and things like that and never, ever getting it out there. So I do apologize for that. Go with God. Be blessed.